Hi everybody, this is Bill from Turbo Dial, and this video is going to cover Power Dial and how to use it. First of all, let's talk about why to use it. Consider these questions. Are you able to acquire more leads than you can pursue? That's true for some businesses. Or do you need to connect to more humans and fewer voicemail systems when you're conducting an outbound calling campaign? Or do you need multiple agents working the same list, calling to it at the same time? If you answer yes to any of those questions, then you need Power Dial. Power Dial gives you simultaneous calls and sharing of a list of, among multiple agents. Let's talk about those, simultaneous calls. So the goal here is to increase the number of live conversations that you achieve during a calling session. As you know, you often reach a voicemail system. And leaving an effective voicemail is good. TurboDial helps you leave good voice messages quickly but having a sales conversation is even better. Now, with PowerDial, you achieve significantly more conversations by dialing multiple contacts at the same time and then connecting only to the first one to answer. Let's, let's look at that a little bit more. So in this image, we have four contacts that have been staged, John, Mary, Fred, and Susan. When you click the call button, TurboDial will attempt to connect to all four of them and start ringing their phones. However, the human is going to answer before a voicemail system in most cases. And so when Mary, who hears her phone ringing, answers, all the other three will immediately be dropped by turbo dial. And now you're having a live conversation with Mary. So you can see now as you work through a list of leads, you can have a lot more conversations with live people rather than leaving voice messages. Okay, what about list sharing? So the goal here is to finish your list sooner by assigning multiple agents to call it. Now with standard list dialing that's available in TurboDial Sales Pro, you can allow multiple agents to call to the same list, but the issue is they might collide and call the same contact because their calls are all being managed independently. With PowerDial, the list is centrally managed by TurboDial and that ensures each agent then is allocated unique contacts for every call and the position in the list is remembered between sessions. So you can leave at the end of the day and come back the next morning and pick up right where you left off. And that position is only forgotten when the list is reset or if it expires after several hours of non-use. So what are the requirements for using PowerDial? Well, first of all, this is an upgrade on TurboDial Sales Pro. You can log into your management account at that location to do the upgrade. And then to activate it, in TurboDial, you simply use that power dial selector to select any number between one and four, and then choose a list in your list dialing selector and click load. Either contact or opportunity save search lists are just fine, but you must set up your save search list to include the contact ID, the name, and the phone. In a normal list dialing scenario, you only need the contact ID, but with power dial, you also need the name and the phone. Let's switch over and actually do a demonstration now. Here we have a turbo dial screen up with Infusionsoft screen in the background. And I've got a power dial selector here. I'm gonna move it to say four and choose a save search of clients with active policies and click load. All right, now let's talk about what's on this screen. First of all, this curtain dropped right here, the power dialing curtain. And the first four contacts that I can call are listed. Notice it's five, six, seven, eight. So that means I did not start at the beginning of the list. I'm continuing the list as it says right here, but notice that the list is only in use by one user. And since I'm that user, that means I'm the only person using the list right now. So if I were to reset the list, there's no harm in that because no other users would be affected. Let's do that. I'm going to click the reset button and notice it says caution. All users of this list will lose their current list position. I'm going to say OK, since I knew I was the only user. Now let's come back and choose, and this time I'm just going to say, let's select two contacts, use the same list, and load it again. Now, what happened there, it took a, it took a few seconds for that to happen. TurboDial went and retrieved that list, brand new, fresh, from Infusionsoft, and stores it now in the TurboDial servers, and gives me the first two contacts. And notice I am starting now with contact number one and two. Second thing you can see on this power dial curtain, in addition to showing me which 
contacts are staged and ready to call is a little check mark. I can choose to, to deselect one of these contacts or more than one if I don't want them called. So let's just say I happen to know that I talked with this prospect Carla Darlington yesterday and I don't want to try to reach her again today. So I'm going to deselect her before I click the call button. So I have chosen two contacts. I selected the list and I loaded it. I can manually move in the list with the right arrow and I'll show you that in a minute. For, but for now, let's go ahead and call the first two contacts. Okay, so this call was answered by Carla Darlington. Notice what a couple things happened when that call was answered. First of all, a pop came up, an alert came up that showed me that it was Carla that answered. So I know, even if I'm sitting back from my screen, I can see who it is that answered. And I'll be able to greet her by name when the conversation begins. Secondly, TurboDial switched over to focus on Carla's contact record right here. So this is Carla's information, her phone number, and the alert that she was the one that answered the call. Now I can end that call. Since I am auto dialing, I can go ahead and leave a note or a call outcome and save that. And it's going to automatically then, once that gets saved, bring up the next group of contacts and call them. Now this call has started. Three and four. Call is underway. Jolene has answered. Let's end that call. So now I'm talking to Jolene, and I can proceed that way. If I'm not auto-dialing, then the way to advance in the list is using the right click button there. That brings me up to the next set of contacts, and I can click Call to call them. So you can see I selected the number of simultaneous calls I want to make in the power dial selector, anywhere from 1 to 4. I chose a list, and I loaded it, and then I began making my calls. If auto-dial is set, as soon as I leave my call notes, it will automatically progress to the next group of contacts and begin the call. If auto dial is off, I can manually advance to the next group of contacts and click the call button. If I'm not auto dialing, I have the opportunity to deselect some users. If I am auto dialing, I probably don't have that opportunity because this will happen too quickly. Turbo dial tells me who answered the call so I know who to greet at the beginning of the conversation. And in that process, I can quickly work through a list talking to as many people as possible. Now I mentioned that you can choose anywhere from one to four simultaneous calls in power dial. Why would I ever choose one simultaneous call? Well there, there are some reasons for that. If you want to share the list with multiple agents in your company then you've got to use power dial. Standard list dialing and turbo dial will not share the list and you then have and if you're using multiple agents they may be colliding with each other so you need power dial for that. Uh, if you want turbo dial to remember your position in the list between calling sessions, then you need power dial for that. And if you need either a conversation or a voicemail, some sort of touch for every contact in the list, then a setting of one is the only way to ensure that you're going to touch every contact in the list. Otherwise, if you have more than one, there will be other contacts who are attempted but never actually touched. So there's a few more items that, at, at a lower level of detail that's important to note. Let's go through those, talking about call notes, uh, list sharing details, some important information about size limits, and also international dialing. So first of all, for call notes. For the contact that you connect with on a power dial call, that's basically a standard turbo dial call. There will be a call note left on their contact record. You'll be able to leave manual notes and call outcome and call outcome automation, all of those things are available. For the contacts who were dialed but did not connect, well, a couple of different things can happen there. First of all, if their phone began ringing, then a note will be left on their contact record, and the title of that note will be Turbo Dial Power Dial Attempt. So that's a new type of note. However, in some cases, their phone may not have even begun ringing before another contact answered, and so in that case, no note is even left because there wasn't even an attempt to that person. And then in the case where contacts were dialed but did not connect, you are not able to leave call notes or use call outcome automation for those contacts. Now, for sharing a list, let's talk some more about the details of that. 
First of all, PowerDial maintains a single copy of a list between all of the users on that list, and then it allocates a group of contacts, you know, one to four, each time a user is ready to dial. You might have some users dialing one at a time, and others dialing multiple contacts at a time, and that all works fine. This ensures there are no collisions because all users will be dialing different contacts. A list is loaded when the first user or agent in your company selects it and loads that list. That's when it gets retrieved from Infusionsoft and loaded into TurboDial. Subsequent agents in your company who load that same list will then share the common list that's already been loaded over from Infusionsoft and TurboDial will make sure they don't collide. When the end of that list is reached, let's say you've worked through whatever, several hundred contacts in the list and now you're at the end, the contacts who answered a call during that session are going to be deleted from that list by TurboDial and then TurboDial is going to start the list over from the beginning. So now your agents can work right back through that list again, this time attempting calls only to the contacts who never connected on their previous attempts. When a list is reset, and that's the reset button right there that appears after you load a list, it gets purged from TurboDial for all users in your company. And then the next load of that list causes the full list to be retrieved fresh from Infusionsoft again. So if the contents of that saved search has changed on the Infusionsoft side, which can happen, people have filled out forms, have taken other actions that changes the contents of that saved search, the way to ensure that the new version of that list gets loaded over is to reset the list and then load it. And as soon as it's reset, it, of course, the position in that list gets reset to the first person on the list. Uh, list expiration occurs after several hours. TurboDial will automatically reset that list. And you can check at turbodial.biz in the PowerDial section of the help information to see how many hours it's currently set to do that. Now, Infusionsoft does limit how many contacts can be loaded from a list, and it's 1,000. So let's take a situation. Let's say you have a saved search list that's uh, larger than 1,000 contacts. When you load that in to TurboDial, only 1,000 contacts can be brought over into TurboDial. If you have several agents power dialing to that list, then it's quite possible that with several agents, you will actually reach the end of the list, all 1,000, and start over but contacts beyond that 1,000 limit will not be called or attempted to be called, even if you reset the list in TurboDial. Infusionsoft is simply limiting to the first 1,000 contacts in the list. So what's the solution to that? Well, a good solution is to simply redefine your list filters to break that large list into multiple smaller lists and then call them uh, one at a time. Another approach, though, is you can use your call outcome automation to adjust the tags on those contacts that you talk to or leave a voicemail for so that they get removed from the list after you've connected with them. And that allows a list reset to bring in a fresh list of, from Infusionsoft and that will therefore bring in more contacts from Infusionsoft because the contacts you connected with have been removed from the safe search. And a quick note on international dialing. For power dial, TurboDial uses the account owner's country code for dialing. If you're in North America, it's going to use a plus one as the country code. And if you're in Australia, it's going to use plus six one. So if your saved search list includes contacts in other countries, then the phone number in those contact records must be configured with full international dialing format. That's how it will override the country code from the account owner. So that's an important caution to realize if you're going to be doing any international dialing from your safe search. Okay, that's an overview of Power Dial and how to use it. It brings you simultaneous calling and list sharing. Happy calling, everybody. Thanks.